teachers welcome back to my channel this is teacher seti again and uh thank you so much guys for always supporting my channel watching my channel every day please don't forget to share my channel with other uh, other teachers you know so that they can uh, they can also uh, know this kind of information the the videos that i've uploaded will help them a lot as well thank you so much now uh for today guys uh, i would like to share uh i will just make it uh, bigger so that you can see guys it'll be five quick ways to find students for your online tutoring business so one one teacher uh yeah she had a comment yesterday and uh she said she has this kind of private tutor online so how can we get students online and that's the thing guys and so so i've done my research this is my source later you can check on this link so for now the first uh the first tip that they said is to you need to have use free classified ads to find students online usually uh, you can find this classified ads probably craigslist craigslist is the most popular or you can also search other free classified ads on google and then uh, what you can see uh what you can just tell on your description you can say a short description of your service uh, a bit info of who you are and what technology you use like skype virtual classroom and then what are the prerequisites for students to participate so working microphone flash based browser and then your price uh, you also need to mention the price per hour that you have okay and then then whoever is interested they can contact you and then just include your email your telephone number listed and then uh, many of these sites are built to connect people locally and you have to select a certain radius like a city state where you want to be listed since it's an online tutor you cannot connect worldwide uh, you can I'm sorry you can connect worldwide it might be useful to list yourself in several areas if the directory is highly location based and then for the second tip guys uh, to find students for online tutoring is through social media I think this is really number one uh, social media has helped a lot of teachers I guess especially me and so, so using social media uh, for anyone you're trying to use the serious business whether one person a home business or huge corporation so the question is how to find students for online tutoring so for this one uh, Facebook yeah obviously mass adding people on facebook is spamming like yeah spamming your network's uh, friends with offers like private tutoring yeah it won't do the trick they say uh, so there's a lot of advice on this so one thing is social media is obligatory so but it has to be tied with other efforts and it will fail if not Okay, so supported by blogging or serious community engagement. Yeah, all right. And then, so uh, social media, like me, guys, uh, I have my own social media account, like Facebook, and also uh, this, uh, I also do vlogs. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes uh, students would ask me uh, if I do private online, online private tutor. And I think it's very, very useful, guys. You can, you can try. All right. And then the next is get students tutoring directory. So there are many directories where tutors can list their services. Basically, this is similar to posting free classified ads with only difference that is focused on teaching and tutoring. For example, you can add your site for, to, uh, to their online teaching directory later I'll post and then uh, it's free so you can uh, check it later and then there are also many old shady websites promising you to hook up with students but they don't pay any upfront fees 
So it's not legal, I think. They are illegal, all right? So be careful, guys. And then check if you can uh, find other people talking about their experience with these sites. Basically, don't sign up anything you wouldn't use yourself to find a tutor. And basically, guys, don't si sign up anything if, if they want you to pay first. Uh, I think that's a very, a very shady website, I guess. All right. And then the next is find more students through SEO optimization. So SEO is, this is a topic that many non-technically minded people shy away from part of the problem is there's too many self-appointed gurus prophets in the field who claim to know what works what doesn't and in reality so the search engine themselves the millions of people searching every day that determine the ever-changing parameter so nevertheless it is common sense sense approach to this finding keywords let's say i'm i'm a french tutor what is the name of my blog so keywords uh keywords do uh what keywords do my blog titles contain it might seem a strange all right and then the re search result for french online lessons online so online french tutor so this this keywords guys are all from google usually google uh, if you type the keyword it will readily appear if it's a commonly search uh, keyword then uh, that's what i do uh, with my with the titles of my youtube uh, youtube vi videos because i usually uh, put the title uh, that is commonly commonly used or commonly search titles that's what i do so that my YouTube video will be one of the uh, popular videos. So that when somebody search, and then uh, my video will come up. Same as like this one, guys. So uh, check on Google, and then uh, put the keyword. If it's commonly, commonly used, then why not? All right. And then if your page stays buried under other search results, try a different uh, phrase so keyword combination research online what you can do from a technical perspective so make sure whatever resources you find are new since the rules are changing right and then next is I think this is the last one so last but not the least guys uh, get to train students by blogging so yeah, so blogging, writing articles about your professional topic, and then each article you write is another potential entry point. All right, and then blogging gives you, uh, gives you, uh, for your social network efforts like, uh, Twitter, Facebook page. I think those are very helpful, guys. Uh, I've done that. All right, and I think it's very helpful to make your own Facebook page and it will attract more students and also include or connect your social media Facebook page with your YouTube channel now if you're quite shy uh, making this kind of video guys then it's okay Facebook page and then if if you have a Twitter you can connect your Facebook page with Twitter and also you can also connect with your Instagram account okay and then being listed on a marketplace classified ads directory and social media is also great but you need to uh, you need something focused uh, to focus this efforts this is where blogging comes in so your blog is your hub your home from there you send out everything receive back traffic and potential customers so usually guys my all, almost all of my potential subscribers are coming from Facebook my Facebook page I have and usually what I do is uh, I post videos on every group that I've joined with and then they will see my my video and sometimes students see my video because I also have videos for students like the TOEFL IBT okay so I think guys uh, that's about it uh, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel 
I hope this video is very informative for you. Uh, I all right. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for always patronizing my video. I hope uh, this video have helped you a lot. And don't forget to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and also the bell notification button so that every time I upload my video, will, you will be notified. And please don't forget also to share, share my video or my channel to other teachers so that I would be able to help them as well. Don't forget also to make a comment below any suggestions you may have, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Goodbye.